what's going on? I'm Cody and welcome to Name Thing for Reaction. And today we'll be reacting to My Mario Childhood, this by Hammond Nations. Now, this sounds really amazing, and I'm really excited to see this. So, if you want to the video in the description, I'm also new channel, smash that subscribe button. Let's go and check out My Mario Childhood. Hey, really quick, consider supporting the channel by checking out the merch store Dude, for a okay. cool bundle that comes with a free t shirt. Bro, that merch looks so there, amazing. Take a look at the plushies, the board game, and the sketchbook. Dude, like all Link the below. plushies. Thank you. Oh, dang. <laughs> Oh my it's goodness! A wow, this is gonna be so oh, fun. Oh, the Wii! Look, the Me Channel. Yeah, I want to make a Me. Don't worry, the I'll best. make one for you. You're probably too dumb to figure it out. What? I said you're too young That's to so figure mean. it out. That's <laughs> so mean. So savage, bro. That was my Me right there. <laughs> Dang. And there. Oh That's my. That's what you look like, <laughs> bro. What? <laughs> That's so mean. Hi, I'm Bryson, and today we're gonna talk about how a fun childhood hobby slowly devolved okay. into a hellish war of Dang. spiteful competition. How the shame and humiliation of losing festered inside me Yo, and drove me. Especially like Super Mario Brothers, like that will do it to you. Especially Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers, all of those Nintendo games, they can like bring out like do anything in some my emotions. To destroy my siblings. <laughs> I'm talking, of course, about the tips. Italiano Paisano himself. Mario. Yes. But before we delve into my villain arc, let's go back to a simpler time when I was taking my first baby steps into the oh world of video goodness. games. It was also my first, like, Super Mario world. It felt world. like I was That's a cosmic favorite. pioneer exploring a different galaxy. Oh. Yes, what a segue! Super Mario Galaxy. I actually have not played the this game. game. Where you traverse the universe yeah, it's like open as world. favorite Italian plumber. If you haven't played this game yet, change that immediately. Okay. When I play this game now, it feels like that it. scene from Ratatouille. Oh, oh, bro, what? It enthralled me as a <laughs> child with its constant stream of new and inventive Mario. platforming ideas. <laughs> After watching Brody play Galaxy for a while, I decided to graduate from Game Watcher to Game Player. There Move you go. over, Brody. Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. Your turn. Immediately, the soundtrack in this game changed my brain oh, chemistry have forever. The people who made this music know what joyous whimsy sounds like. Yes. When I hear Gusty Garden Galaxy, it makes me believe that anything is hey, possible. Let's go. The room fades away. I I float into the air and I enter the world of the game. This was I feel like all Nintendo games have like great soundtracks, especially the ones for like the Switch, dude. Like, oh my, Super Mario Odyssey was so fantastic. The first video games I Some ever played. Some of the played, best so music is in Nintendo learn. games. Jumping between gravity and games in planets general. and walking upside down took a lot of getting used to. I collected a few stars and then headed to the Loop to Loop Galaxy. And let me the tell you, this galaxy. level broke, little Bryson. Oh in no! In a level, you ride around a floating water race course on a stingray. But I want wanted to get the high score. Right. I wanted to go fast. So my thumb never let go of the acceleration oh, button. No. And that meant I couldn't no make sharp turns. Exactly. I kept flying off the map oh, and died. No. And to make it worse, I had to use motion controls. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't beat it no matter how hard I tried. Dang. I started crying and oh. Brody had to help me beat the level. This will go down in history as mankind's second greatest defeat involving stingrays. But after that little oh. hiccup, I was ready to take right, on the rest of the Berwin. game and lose to Bowser 50 times. It was a legend. But Brody, being a seasoned veteran gamer, coached me on how to perfectly time my spin moves. And hey, I used them go. to spin Bowser like a Beyblade. So long, gay Bowser. I was feeling pretty good about my newly acquired gaming skills. Beating Bowser as a child is a big deal. It really okay? is. At that age, oh what my else goodness. do you have to be proud That's the of? Big boss. The drawings you made that mom hung up on the fridge? Well, hey! bad news. Mom will throw those crappy drawings oh. away while you're not looking. But Mom's the achievement of defeating the king of the Koopas, but they really do do that. that lasts forever. Then I arrived at the Rolling Green Galaxy. That sounds like a fun, easy, kid-friendly nah. level. Not. If the Stingray <laughs> right. race broke me, this one shattered me. Oh, no. In the level, you bounce on a ball that has a star inside it and use... <laughs> motion controls <laughs> to lead the ball through obstacles and past Dang. Goombas to reach the end and unlock the star. And I just couldn't... Okay, this sort of reminds me of, like, Super Monkey Ball. Have any of you guys played that? Let me know. That was my jam, dude. Super Monkey Ball. That's a that's an amazing Do game. I, I feel like kind off, of underrated, which made me impatient, too. Which made me go faster, which made me fall off more, this and is the cycle like just continued. At Super six Monkey years Ball old, in Mario. I just did not have the coordination or fine motor skills to beat this thing. Right. But I was determined. The 
determined. determined. Exactly. I didn't want to ask Brody for help again. I wanted to be a big boy gamer. I Dude, hunkered down go. and died over and over for an hour straight. But then finally, I got past the spot where... Hey. But then finally, I got past the spot where I usually fell. I was close to the end. I hey. shakily crossed a bridge and the flag uh. came into view. My hands were shaking. The yeah. adrenaline was Dude, pumping. Keep still. I could almost taste you my got victory. It. I launched over to the last island. I had made it. I tilted my Wiimote all the way forward, but... What happened? No! No! Oh, no! I literally tripped at the finish no! line. My confidence was shattered, and I had to go collect myself in the other room. Oh, my goodness. that That is the worst when you get so close to finishing, like, a level or something, and then, like, you just lose it. Like, that. oh, man. Like, I feel the pain, dude. Like, but I ah! would not let this fiery crucible Dude, that's me. right. Keep I going. I would allow it to force me into something Don't stronger. Keep going. I stepped got back this. in and entered Ultra Instinct mode. Right. And I finally beat it. Got and it. And that's when I felt it. The gamer's the, high. Right. All my dopamine receptors yes. fired and I jumped for joy. This is the greatest day of my life! <laughs> I had emerged victorious and was ready to take on the universe. Literally. I cruised through the rest of the galaxies. Hey. Nothing could hold me back. An icy hot galaxy where you skate around nah. and fried a lava octopus? No problem. No a problem. haunted mansion galaxy where you uh, save Luigi? Luigi? Luigi's work. mansion? A galaxy made of toys where you run across twisting platforms shaped like Mario? Okay, that's Child's great. That's some play. great level design. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. <laughs> Light work, no reaction. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Okay, it's not a little pick. Oh. All my nightmares have materialized. <laughs> it was an even That's harder right. version of the previous one. Skipping ahead for ah, two hours of pain That does look challenging. Agony, and I finally beat it. Yahoo! That's I'm right. I'm honestly convinced that this game widened my emotional range. It's like Newton's yes. third law. The more suffering you experience, the more capacity you have for joy. And believe That's me amazing. when I tell you, I've never those levels had me suffering. Oh, then my I goodness. saved Princess Peach or whatever. This game's revolutionary gravity mechanics, top tier level design, and Winsical that is some great level design. An easy 100 Bryson points. Dang. But we couldn't have the game that sent Mario to space without the game that sent Mario into a whole different dimension. Mario Kart? Super, Super Mario, Mario 64? 64. Yes! An all -time okay, I have classic. played this one. It paved the way for so many so games good. to enter the third dimension. I'm still waiting for Super Mario 65 to come out, though. Yes. <laughs> I literally I thought it was can't a describe great the joke. pure primal fear little Bryson experienced when seeing that giant chain chomp oh for the first time. Oh my goodness. And don't even get me started on that Koopa the Quick race. I hate this stupid turtle so much. Oh my, that race is like the worst, dude. Like, I, I do not like that race. But I think the game as a whole is amazing, Just though. Just couldn't beat him. But then, one day, Brody let me in on a little secret. He's gonna win the race again. You gotta go to, like, a See different that path. hole in the wall? Yeah. Go in. How is this supposed to? It'll warp. <gasps> yep. <laughs> you see that? And that's how light. you do it. Look up. <laughs> Follow that. Coin but like the penguin. The yes, wall. this level yes! is so fun. Yes! I love yeah. that level. The sense of accomplishment so and fun. amazement at discovering these secrets for the first time was yes. enough to form a core memory. Oh my Even goodness. though I needed help to find them. It was a really nice change of pace to get help from Brody on finding secrets because usually he pulled the classic move of giving me an unplugged controller and <laughs> gaslighting me into thinking I was really playing. <laughs> Am I mean. really playing? Mario isn't listening to me and this controller isn't even plugged in. You're actually playing as that baby penguin. Oh, cool. <laughs> Who wants to play as Mario when you can play as a baby penguin? I think I'm sold to like Club Penguin over here. Let's go. Like, hey. <laughs> Back in my day, there were no video game <laughs> tutorials on the internet. The only way I could learn what I needed was through rumors on the playground and hints from right. my brothers. So this information was uh, very the Nintendo valuable. DS. Then Brody taught me how to backwards long jump and travel at the speed of light. <laughs> Hey. It's getting intense. Obviously, this game is great, but it me really and my is. brothers usually played the remastered version on the DS. Right. They added some mini games that we would play together all the oh, time. I haven't played that some one. of my favorites were the Hidden Face game, the Babam Sorting one, and the one where you draw little trampolines. For I actually Mario got to the jump one on. where they remastered it on the absolutely Switch. Absolutely insane. Like the three in one, but I haven't played Galaxy yet. There were gambling yet. addictions that were caused by Luigi teaching them how to do it. But there was <laughs> also a multiplayer game where you fight each other to get the most stars, and my brothers and I took it very seriously. Right. 
Bryson's got three stars. Brayden, Brenner, get him. Stay back. <laughs> I earned get these. Sneak attack. <laughs> Mom, no, that's Brayden sneak stole attack. No cap. It's giving little brother energy. <laughs> Brayden obviously ate it. Same. That. And you're Delulu if you think I'm going to punish him for slaying. I got to let him go. All cook. the slaying. Don't let your mentee B get in the way of his duck. Oh Just my hope goodness. Take the L for real, for real. But the brotherly rivalry. So much slang, dude. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. That was an amazing sentence right there. It was just getting started. Let's turn up the that was heat incredible. and move on to the game that's been causing relationship shattering screaming matches Mario Kart? for decades. Or Super Smash. Mario Party. Mario Party. A family friendly party game. This game introduced a whole new emotion to me. Yeah. Bloodlust. <laughs> One thing you should know what? about this game is that when I Dang. win, it's because of pure skill. But when you win, it's because you got lucky and those yeah. stupid bonus stars don't even count. They don't. When creating a game, it's important to strike a good balance between skill and luck. I never played too luck. much Mario and Party. in a lot of people's opinions, Mario Party is too much of a luck-based game. It's still super fun at parties if you're hand? not taking it too seriously. Amazing. Which is probably why they call it Mario Party. <laughs> Unfortunately, right. my brothers and I have no chill. So for us, <laughs> it was more spinning. like Mario gladiatorial combat. Our super rivalry seemed to leak into every aspect of our lives, and video games were no exception. Even being player one was a big deal. If my Wiimote connected first, Brody would sh <laughs> his pants and disconnect all the controllers <laughs> and resync them until he was player one. No we way. We also played the DS version of Mario That's Party petty. on family road trips, and I remember screaming my lungs out over losing mini games. Something about this game is just a recipe for white hot rage and malice. I guess that's why it's good at parties, because you get to see everyone's true colors. Uh, Right. And it's always so tense when Toad announces the final score. Okay, I've got four stars and 46 coins. Right. Everyone else only has three, so I should come out on top. Time to announce the bonus stars. The first star goes to the player count. that traveled the least amount of spaces. Brenner! Okay, okay, okay. I still got more coins than him, so as long as he doesn't get the second one, I'll win. And right. the next star goes to the player that lost the most minigames. Brenner! I'll <laughs> kill you! In one game, oh I was gosh. doing very well for myself. I had several <laughs> stars and a whopping 270 coins. Hey. But this was the Spaceland map. If the center platform gets stepped on five times, Bowser's spaceship shoots a giant laser across the board. And of course, I was right in the cross. Oh, no. Hey. No, stop. No, Just Bowser, don't, don't do it. it. <laughs> oh, no. I started resorting to more drastic measures to try and beat my brothers. There's a mini game where you have to mash the A button as fast as you can, and I decided to tip the scales in my favor. I grabbed a massage gun and put it on max speed <laughs> on my palm, which caused my fingers to vibrate insanely fast. Then I put my finger on- Oh my goodness. This adds a new definition to anything for the dub, dude. Oh, if you made it this far, comment anything for the dub, because I feel like that's what is happening right here, dude. Oh. On the A button, <laughs> And... Or just call me dub. As the second youngest, my older brothers were always so much better than me at everything. And honestly, so was Brenner. He was spat out the womb knowing how to use an iPad <laughs> and was 360 no-scoping noobs while still Dang. in diapers. I wanted to win something for once. I just like hadn't some found the mobile. right game yet. Mario Kart, yes. Mario Kart. That's the I don't jam. I consider myself to be a very competitive person, but as you've seen here today, video games are the exception, especially Mario Kart. Oh my goodness. Fortunately, my spirit of competition is- Okay, I get really competitive during Mario Kart. It's like literally insane. Let me know if you guys do in the comments as well. I, I throw down for some Mario Kart. Well placed because I'm amazing at Mario Kart and you can't beat me. Unless but we're on Rainbow Road. This way. No, thank it all you. started, of course, with Mario Kart DS. <sighs> my brother my and I first would race each other for dominance, but I didn't understand the drift mechanic, so I would just kind of turn and throw bananas, and yeah. I could never beat my brothers. It's good until when you go to like 250 cc's or drift, something. It took a lot of getting used to. You have to wiggle the D-pad back and forth in order to build up a charge that boosts right. you forward, and yep. it was really hard for me to manage that while controlling the trajectory of my turns at such a young age. Clearly, I had much to learn. <laughs> that being said, this was the first time that becoming better than my brothers at something didn't seem in possibly out of reach. Right. I wanted to win at something for once, and I could feel the potential uh, within myself. I wanted it. to be player one, so I hunkered Ready down and continued my training arc. Wait, I'm first! I'm gonna win! Oh no. Oh! Dude, not the blue turtle shell! That is the worst! 
worst. No, that is the worst. You know how you like do like an NPC and you play against like the computers and stuff like that? That will literally happen at the very end of a race. You'll be winning by like a whole like lap or something. And then here comes like 15 blue turtle shells to like end your game and you'll end up getting like six or something like that. That happens to me so often. Like no cap. Eventually, we graduated from Mario Kart DS to Mario Kart <laughs> the Wii. Pain. This was the one that I've played the least because, as we already established, I don't understand motion controls. Yeah, also, motion controls Also, apparently are. using a bike is the only viable option because doing a wheelie is just free acceleration, so that's pretty dumb. It didn't help me develop my skills at all, but it definitely added some great tracks, and using the plastic Wiimote was real fun as a kid. That was actually really fun, yeah. Driving. I actually did use the He's like never the controller his license. Then wheel. I it's actually really the training fun. grounds worthy of my potential. Mario Kart 7. They added cart customization, yes. underwater sections, gliders, and a bunch of amazing ah. courses. And a much better drifting system. Yes. This was definitely the best Mario Kart at the time. I learned the strategies, I Kill learned nine. the shortcuts, and I began to step into my power. I started to be a much bigger challenge for my brothers, and Brody and Brayden could feel the reign of terror <laughs> stepping away as I won more and more. Dang. The Egyptians believed the most significant thing you could do in your life was die. Oh, uh, the re that is clutch too. Yep. As I studied, I even found a forbidden shortcut. On the Makawuhu course, if you use a mushroom to boost off the track at the right angle, Wait, you'll what? land in an out-of-bounds area that corresponds to a much later part of the map. So, when Lakitu saves Hold you, he up. thinks you're further along than you really were, so he puts you there, allowing you to skip <laughs> ahead of amazing. everyone else. The first time I pulled this I trick did not on even know that. was hilarious. <laughs> Eat my dust, losers. Little did Brody know, history gotcha. was about to change. About to change. <laughs> Just breaking up. Dude, Bryson's on top now. But I was just getting started. I wanted <laughs> Not happy. more. Then finally came Mario Kart 8 and 8 Deluxe. They added anti gravity yes. mechanics and a slew of amazing courses and carts. As the oh games my got goodness. better, so did I. But it definitely took a while for me to get used to 200cc, where the carts go insanely fast. Dude, that's what I'm saying, dude. I could not get used to that. Like, if you start going very fast, like, turning is such a hard thing to do in those games, unless you, like, know exactly how to do it. Like, you actually have to on use Rainbow the Road, it's to impossible. Turn sharp yes. And not fly off the track. Exactly. But after I mastered that, Rainbow I Road is the hardest. <laughs> Dang. On this one, slow is fast. <laughs> You're weak, just like the rest of your people. <laughs> they did not deserve is that from the Super Mario Bros. World. movie? In my world, prepare to join them. I prepare think. Prepare to die. <laughs> Same. I had demolished Brody and Brayden so many times that I unlocked the final frontier of Mario Kart skill. That's a forbidden right. technique known as item smuggling. In the game, the strongest items are given to the people in the back of the yeah. race to even things out. Right. Basically, you purposefully hang back in the race to cycle through the best items and then use them to take shortcuts and sweep in at the last moment <laughs> to steal a victory. This strategy that's, is especially that's amazing. because if you succeed, but I someone can is guarantee getting that's teased frustrating. with a chance at a first place spot for the whole race, only for you to snatch it from them in the last second. I've done this countless times that has happened to family to me so and friends many times to dunk on, the on them, opposite end. and I finally fulfilled my childhood dream of being better than my brothers at something. With my enemies defeated, my <laughs> thirst for victory was finally Thanos. quenched. Now, I know what you must be thinking. This guy must be pretty bad at everything else if the only thing he can brag about nah. is being good at a children's Animations? video game. And to that, I say, yeah, that's pretty true. Just let me have this, please. Right? Mario was definitely a great part of growing up, and I'll always have fond memories of playing games with my brothers. Brothers, and it's been nice to finally defeat them. Little brothers gotta take what we can get. And in all seriousness, dude, that is so facts, dude. You just gotta be able to take what you can get. If you're good at something, like let us be good at something, right? This, I mean, it was very sweet of Brody to always help me find hidden secrets and beat levels that were too hard Everybody's good at for something, me. and I'm very happy to have so many great memories gaming with the boys. The boys. That one, that mushroom is so OP because it just keeps going. <laughs> God, that's so unfair. Skill issue. Skill. Skill. <sighs> All right, well played.
Let's play a different game. Oh, that's what I'm saying. This is exactly what I'm saying. You go into like Smash Brothers, it's over, dude. That is like so competitive and like is such a skill game. Like I'm still not very even good at it. But I still love playing it because it's so much fun. Thanks for watching. This was a huge video. <laughs> it was so like kind I of a cliffhanger. All the way through. It was fun to reminisce about growing up playing Mario yes. games with my brothers. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the merch and the Patreon in the description. Thanks as always to my amazing Bro, this was team amazing. of animators, storyboarders, background artists, and Dude, editors. All of these you people. all help bring my creative visions to life. And thanks again to you for watching. Comment Bro, down below so what amazing. your favorite part of the video was and all what your it. favorite Mario game is. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go take a nap cart. or eat food. Or both. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was really interesting. So amazing. Dude, like all the Mario do. Like, oh, my, this is so relatable. Probably one of my favorite franchises is like Mario, dude. Nintendo always knocks it out with the Mario games. I think my favorite is Mario Kart. Let me know what your favorite one is in the comments. I think Mario Kart is my favorite, but also like, I mean, all the Mario. I think Super Mario Odyssey was actually really good on the Switch. Like, I absolutely just like so love that like open world. So amazing. So incredible like the level design they always knock it out of the park with like mario games and i just absolutely just like so love that and that was so amazing what do you guys about my mario childhood let me know in the comment section i've also clicked that bell turn notifications so always guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you guys enjoyed the video so always guys i'll catch you in the next reaction video